Good morning, happy Thursday. What a glorious Thursday it is, right? The birds are chirping. It's gonna be 75 degrees. I got hair flippies. What more could you want out of life, right? I don't know that my shirt matches the shirt under it, but I don't care <laughs> because it's gonna be 75. So I'm dressing for this afternoon and put this on over it for this morning. It's close enough, right? I mean, really, who cares? Not me. Obviously I do, because I'm mentioning it, but. <laughs> oh, oh, here we go. I'm falling in holes. Uh, so, the Divine Miss Penn has been slightly sickly. Not like rush to the vet sickly, but cook chicken and rice sickly. Yes, and I think that it's quite possibly the treats. So, just a brief overview without telling you the gross stuff, because that's what I was gonna tell you yesterday was the gross stuff. And I thought, you know, people probably don't wanna hear that. She got sick and I cleaned it up. And then she went out back and she got sick a few more times. And I was like, okay, no treats for you. No treats, no treats. She was still drinking water. I put down her dinner. She ate her dinner. She was fine. I was like, cool. Well, this little heifer, this little heifer of mine, I'm gonna let her shine. She hides her treats all over the house. Uh-huh, yeah. <laughs> so, next thing I see is her eating one of her treats. And I was like, um, I've been trying not to give you one of those because <laughs> I, I want to narrow down, right? Her food didn't make her sick, her dog food. Mm. But shortly after she ate the treat, yeah, she got sick again. And I was like, oh goodness, hold on. Now then, so she ate the treat, she got sick again. I was like, yeah, see, that's why I'm not giving you treats right now, okay? So I cooked the chicken and rice, and she just kind of laid around, well, after she followed me around all morning, but that's normal. She kind of laid around all afternoon, and didn't, we went for a walk, but she didn't really want to walk that long, and I was like, eh, she's just tired, because you know, She's not feeling good, okay. Well, I'm happy to report she ate her chicken and rice for dinner. The only treat she got was her little teeny greeny <laughs> at bedtime because every night since I've had her, she gets a greeny when we go to bed. I used to have to use treats to uh, bribe Charlie to come to bed. Yeah, I started that uh, very young because he didn't always want to go to bed when I wanted to go to bed, but then he would wait till I would get good and asleep, and then he would want to come to bed and wake me up. So, I just started grabbing a treat, and he would follow me, and he would go to bed when I went to bed. <laughs> Do I use treats to bribe my children? Maybe, perhaps, yes. Please stand by. Now then, here's the brown lipstick. I told you, <laughs> it's really dark. I don't know why they call that honeysuckle because around here, honeysuckles are white. Yeah, uh, not dark brown. <laughs> anyway, but it doesn't go on that dark. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I don't have enough for a lip. Uh, Tarte Mac Maracuja Juicy Lip Plump. It's got a little tingle to it. It's supposed to make you have big lips. <laughs> it doesn't work. Okay, back to Penelope. Yeah, so she had her little greenie after her after dinner treat at bedtime. And she's fine. I would like to report that Penelope is fine. We have a beautiful sunrise this morning. Moving on. I don't want to sound like I'm gossiping because I'm not. 
Okay, maybe I am. I'm not gossiping. I'm asking a question. What is going on with Kate Middleton? Hello, people in the UK. What in the world is going on with Kate Middleton? I believe, I personally believe, that perhaps she had a medical procedure done and she wants her privacy while she heals and that nothing is going on with her. But, but the tabloids have blown it all out of proportion as they always do. One said that there's some woman, oh, that girl is riding down the road on a bicycle and there's no sidewalk. She's a little girl. I mean, not little, but middle school. <sighs> okay, back to Kate. Uh, one article said that there's a, uh, there's always a, another woman in these scenarios, right? According to the tabloids. And she's pregnant with Will's baby. And William, Prince William, excuse me. You can't, you can't just call him Will Tracy like he's your BFF or something. Prince William. They think she's pregnant with his baby and that Kate caught them together and that Prince William uh, abused her. Okay, come on. Really, I mean, am I saying it's, it's out of the realm of possibility? No, because nothing's out of the realm of possibility, but come on now. Uh, I, should I call her Duchess, Kate? Should I call her the Duchess? Can I just call her Kate like I'm her BFF? Hmm. I don't know. Perhaps I should call her the Duchess and him the Prince. Y'all know who I'm talking about, okay? Uh... Another theory was, of course, she's had all this plastic surgery done because, you know, she's just hideous and needs a ton of plastic surgery. Come on, dude. She's beautiful. What is she going to have plastic surgery on? Oh, I hate the tabloids. But it seems to me, or maybe I just don't pay attention, but it seems to me that those tabloids... At, the, at least at the grocery store aren't as bad as they used to be. Perhaps because we have internet and they just blast it on the internet instead of putting it on a newspaper. Here's my thing. Kate, Prince, Duchess, Duchess. She's not a princess, she's a Duchess, right? Whatever. Duchess Kate, ma'am, I pray that you are doing well. I doubt you'll ever see this. I doubt that you'll watch a commenter from the U.S. making a video about you. But if you do, I wish you well. And I pray that the media would leave you alone. As Reba's grandson used to say, weave me a wound. I'm trying to weave the paper. Yeah. So I pray that you are weft a wound so you can weave the paper. And we cover. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Lord, the things that come up on the internet. You know, while I'm stopped, I'm going to stop this. I'm almost at work, so I'll be back. Now then, I'm at lunch. I'm working alone again today. And I ordered from Chipotle again. What the heck was that? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. There's there's nothing around, but oh Lord, I'd hate to cut grass right now. Oh, all that pollen and dust flying around. Poor fella. He did have on a mask though. Tis the season for pollen. Everything's gonna turn a, a lovely yellowish green shade. Mm -hmm. Everything. Everything. Cars, porches, Penny's face. Because <laughs> she rubs her face along the ground. And when she looks up at me, 
it's, it's just all yellow and green and it's even caked inside her little nostrils. Mm -hmm, it's lovely. <sighs> Anywho, what was I going to talk about? Oh, yeah. Uh, so, I go to pick up my food and I have to order it under Lisa's name, even though it's for me. What is going on here? Uh, I have to order it under Lisa's name because she's the one that set up the account and it says we're or, uh, earning points. I don't know what we're earning points toward because I've never seen anything to redeem any points, but whatever. I just used Lisa's login to order everything from Chipotle. Maybe one day we'll get this a ginormous reward, okay? Well, anyway, I pull up to the window and I started to say when he said, what's the name on the order? I started to say, Lisa, <laughs> Lisa, the name is Lisa. And I thought, no, Tracy, behave. Just say Lisa, just be normal. For once in your life, be normal. I don't know how. So I pull up, he says, I say Lisa, like a normal human being. He says, you look like a Lisa. Do I? <laughs> Do I look like a Lisa? Because that's not my name. Now I have been told that I look like a Tina. I don't know what that means either. I have a cousin named Tina and we don't look alike, but yeah, I don't know. <laughs> oh, apparently I look like a Tina. Apparently, I look like a Lisa. I mean, I'm okay with it. At least I could have gotten a bicycle tag with my name on it and spelled correctly had I been named Lisa. But since my mother chose to give me Tracy with an I, then I never could get a bicycle tag spelled correctly. And you know, when you're in third or fourth or fifth or twelfth grade. That's very important, okay? And then they finally came out with this book where you could order stuff with your name on it. And I finally got pencils and things with my name spelled correctly. Finally. But I was like in high school. <sighs> so, so deprived of having my name on my bicycle. By, by the way, bicycle, bicycle. That's how I learned there was in a Santa Claus. I'm spitting. Um, yeah, because I went downstairs in the middle of the night to get something to drink or something, and my parents were putting together my bicentennial huffy bike. It was red, white, and blue, and I was so excited. I snuck down and I saw them putting putting it together and I just turned around and snuck right back up the steps and then the next morning they told me it was from Santa and I was like you bunch of lying heathens that's not from Santa y'all put it together I didn't say a word though because my mama always said as long as you believe in Santa you'll get gifts <laughs> I still believe in Santa yeah. I'm back at work with my food, so I'll be back. My lunch from Chipotle. So it has rice, pintos, the corn salsa, that's carnitas, pork, veggie fajitas mix or whatever, which means bell peppers and onions. And then I get a tortilla to roll it in. There is your, it's a burrito bowl from Chipotle's. Mm. Now then, I'm home and my girl's here taking her little nap. She's doing great. She feels much better. She ate a greenie treat today and yeah, she's doing great. 
and uh, my cat's over there asleep. I let them go outside and get some sunshine on my shoulders. Makes me happy. <laughs> There's a cardinal in the bird bath. I should probably go out there and clean it out for said cardinal instead of sitting on this couch trying to finish up a video. What? <laughs> Anyway, I had to break the bad news to Facebook that I have to make shorter videos. Um, so, all my longer videos will now be on the YouTube, which I can say openly on a YouTube video, but I can't say openly on a Facebook video. YouTube has so many less restrictions. So, I don't even have to edit as much on a YouTube video <laughs> to try to condense it down in hopes that it'll be shown. So I'll just take portions of this and push to Facebook and then I'll post the whole thing to YouTube. Yes, I'll pick the best parts and put those on Facebook, you know, like the little funny parts or whatever. I mean, they might not find them the best, but yeah. And then I'll just continue to upload the longer full videos to YouTube. Okay? Okay. <laughs> I guess that's going to be it for this video. I've ran out of things to talk about. Oh, except I'm mad about Chipotle because they changed the beans. Why must you mess with my emotions and change the beans in your food after all this time? They added a bunch of spices and something to it. They just taste different and they're spicy. And I'm mad, okay? But other than that, I'm going to let you go. Remember, I love you. Jesus loves you. I hope he's coming back soon because people will be crazy. And I'll talk to you on the next Tracy Drive, which on YouTube will be tomorrow. Good Lord willing, because I do post every day. Toodles, manoodles, and stay silly, my friends. Goodbye.